Hi there, hello there, my name is Craft, and I'm going to be ranking all of Minecraft's golems. Minecraft has many mobs throughout its history, and the batch of mobs that fascinate me the most is the golems. Lair made creatures that fulfill a singular task based on different materials from throughout the overworld. They range from massive behemoths to little small boys. I love all these fellas so much that I decided to document all canonical appearances of golems and rank them all on a tier list based on how much I like them. I don't really plan to have a strict ranking criteria, like usefulness or power level or stuff like that. I just want to vibe and rank how cool I think they are. That way this list can be more accessible to those who aren't fully aware of all the golems on this list. But if you want to learn more about these golems, I'll leave a link to the Minecraft wiki in the description, which is where I got the official list. And with that said, let's get into it. Now, first off, we have the snow golem. Honestly, they they just kind of vibe. They're a little funny guy. But also, compared to all these other golems, they're very basic. It's just a snowman. They're just kind of middle of the road. B. Iron golem. Yes, this is a big boy. Um... Yeah, I vibe with them. I think they're nice, they're cool. It's awesome to see an army of them, honestly. And I like how they're animated in Minecraft Dungeons, so they get a solid, respectable A for me. The Agent. I know nothing about this mob other than it's used for coding. I I'm looking at the picture right now and it looks very boring. Eh, I don't really... I don't get this one. It's a D. I don't know. Key Golem. I mean, they... They're fine. I feel like these are very excellent marketing opportunities for Minecraft Dungeons back whenever that game came out, but other than that, they're cubes with the key on top of their head. Uh, so I don't really vibe with that, but that they're kind of D weird. <laughs> Just a redstone cube. Okay, this this one's even more of a cube than the key golem. <laughs> it's just a redstone block. Um, yeah. Redstone Golem. Ooh boy, this is a good one too. This one's a really good one. It's kind of like uh, if the Iron Golem was cooler. If any of you have seen the Lego set of this, it's really awesome. Just the trans red pieces make it pop. And even just the glowing effect from the game is also pretty cool, so... I vibe with that. The Redstone Monstrosity. Same thing with the Redstone Golem. The Lego set is amazing. I still need to get it, honestly. I'm surprised I don't have it. I should really talk about Lego sometime. Anyways, this is just mwah, chef's kiss. Amazing mob. So it's a it's a solid, respectable A. Really like it. A squall golem. Huh? Okay, reading the Minecraft wiki page, it's a hostile golem that can be found within the Howling Peaks DLC. Um, just looking at the picture, it looks, um, very gold. I guess that's cool. Well, I'm not vibing with it, honestly. I'll put it at B. What the heck is this other one? Tempest Golem. A golem boss variant that can be found within the various missions of Minecraft Dungeons. More blue than the other one. Or is that green? Um... I, this one's weird. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, baby! Copper Golem Sweep! Golem Gang for Life, S tier. I will actually take the time to explain why this one is S tier, because it's just a little guy. He's just a little fella. Look at him. He's just, he's just a little fella. Copper is easy to obtain. And honestly, I feel like it would have been so funny and satisfying to see a little army of them just at the ready, pressing buttons. And honestly, like, as much as sad as I am that they didn't make it into the game officially, I still think that it may have been good that they didn't immediately get in. Because, like, now we have time for Mojang to think about what to add to it, more to develop it, instead of it just pressing buttons or whatever. Yeah, so, it's just a, a little fella. I love this little fella. I just wish that Mojang can add it in the game. Please add it in the game. Please just just do it already, Mojang, please. Uh, same with this little fella, the tough golem. He's a fun little guy. He's just a little fella, but he's not as memeable as the his big brother copper golem, so he's gonna get a respectable A tier. Honestly, the copper golem and the tough golem would be phenomenal for those trial chambers because they use both copper and tough. Plank Golem. <laughs> this reminds me of Deku Scrubs from The Legend of Zelda, and they're funny. Um, 
Honestly, I'm surprised that this concept hasn't shown up in the mainline games, because I feel like just having like tower defense style mobs of like range attackers and melee attackers, kind of like the iron golem and snow golem, but a little bit weaker and more mass producible is such a good idea, honestly. And I feel like these two, both the plank golem and the cobblestone golem, they both deserve to be in the mainline game. And I just think that they're really nifty. They're really cool. The mossy golem. This one's pretty cute too, but honestly, I feel like this is more of like a novelty golem, but I think that's all they're really good for, honestly. I know I said I'm not gonna make like usefulness part of my ranking, but I just gotta ask, I don't even know what this one does. What does it even do? A mossy golem is a golem that can be found within Minecraft Legends. But what does it do? It literally doesn't do anything from what I'm seeing. So, see, eh. The heck is this one? The first of brick. Um, this is a beefy looking boy. It looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty menacing. Yeah, it looks mean, it looks beefy. I'll put it in B. And I think I'll actually knock this guy down to C because he's just kinda like, doesn't compare at all. <laughs> all right, this one's, this one's actually really good for multiple reasons. The first of diorite. I think from that name you can tell where I'm gonna put it on the list. But look, reading up on it, the first of Diorite is a golem that spawns other golems. This thing can make other golems. Realistically, it could make everything else on this list. It could make a little army of copper golems if you told it to. And I just find that to be a really cool thing. Like, it's super cool. And it's made of Diorite, which is my favorite block in the game for some weird reason. That's an automatic S tier. I love that. The first of oak. This is basically the beefier version of the plank golem. Uh, same with the first of stone, which is a beefier version of the cobble golem. But yeah, these guys are pretty mean looking, but honestly not as mean looking as the other ones. So these are like in icy. The melon golem. Um, I'm surprised this isn't in the normal game already. Like Mojang, come on, just add it. Same thing as the, the snow golem though. It's a snowman. The furnace golem. Ooh, this one looks awesome. It's basically the same bit as like the copper golem. It's made of metal, but it looks super cool. So that's also another S tier. Oh my gosh, I have three S tier golems. Redstone mini strosity. The heck is this? Oh, this is a little... That's a little fella. The redstone mini-strosity is a cosmetic pet golem that could be unlocked as a reward in the Luminous Night seasonal adventure of Minecraft Dungeons. Oh, so it's like a little pet that follows you around? That's super cool. Why can't they apply that to the copper golem? Uh, this one looks pretty cool. It's kind of has the same vibes as the redstone golem, just in a little fun package. It it's like a little guy. He's going up here. Glowing mini-strosity. What? This one looks kind of strange. I mean, it's a little fella, and I like little fellas when it comes to golems, but eh, this one's, this one's not really feeling, I'm not really feeling this one. This one kind of looks weird, you know? Um, bottom of D tier. The grindstone golem. Why is it blue? Normally I like the blue color, but if it's a grindstone, that, do that doesn't match. Um, confusing colorings, but it looks all right like top of D tier. Now the last three golems are from a little game that you may or may not have heard of. It's called Minecraft Story Mode. Icy Golem, which is basically a beefed up version of the Snow Golem. It's something all right, so I guess I'll just put it right here. Ooh, but this one looks pretty cool. The Magma Golem. This one actually looks pretty mean. I, I can respect this one. This one's going into like right there next to the other one. And the last one for this ranking will be the Prison Golem. I mean, it ha it's like a Tron style golem i'll put it like in c it's it's pretty good and so yeah that's my tier list surprisingly i didn't really have any f tier golems on this list i enjoy all of these to an extent i had a lot of fun recording this this was nice to just look at all these golems uh yeah let me know what you think of this ranking in the comments uh and if you're also curious about ranking them yourself i'll leave a link to the tier list as well in the description along with the minecraft wiki article that i mentioned at the start of the video let me know if i missed any although i don't think i missed any what other golems could there be
Anyways, um, yeah. The sub of the day is the Bella Matza, and I'm out of here.